Uh, in this picture, you can see I have created a string str equals to India here. Then str plus uh, Pakistan, I said. I mean, I am appending plus operator acts as a concatenation operator in Java. So I am appending concatenating Pakistan to India. Okay. So the thing is, strings are actually immutable. It means they cannot be changed. So here, when I create string str equals to India, what happens in the JVM is, you can see here India, this is the string object. And this object is being mapped with a remote control str. Can you identify here? Got it? str is mapping to India. Now, when I make a uh, concatenation to str plus Pakistan, what happens is this Pakistan is not going to be adding to this India object. The reason is strings are immutable. So a new string object is created with India and Pakistan. Got it? Hello? Yes. 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 So uh, as strings are immutable, uh, the current string that is India will not be added with this Pakistan message that is a string. Instead, a new object India Pakistan would be created. This is what. Then I say string str2 equals to India. Look here, string str2 equals to India. So in this case, what happens is here you can see, here you can see. Uh, this declaration string str2 equals to India, it should go, it should go like this India, India, and assume this red remote control as str2 and this is mapping to India. But the thing is here, JVM is not going to create a new string India for this str2 equals to India. Instead, what happens is JVM maintains a string constant pool in it. So what this pool contains is, this pool contains uh, all uh, the existing string objects. So when you create a string str2 equals to India, the JVM will look, is there any object India in the pool? We already have that, right? Here, we already have this. So in that case, what happens is, this str2, str2, new remote control is created and it maps to the same India object. And if you observe over there, str remote control and str2 remote control, both are mapping to the same object. Got it? Yes. Right. So in this case, in this case, when I compare uh, this str remote control and str2 remote control with the double equals operator, look here, double equals comparison here, string comparison with the double equals. So here, double equals. Let me take a pointer so that it is easy to understand. I mean, I will highlight it. Yes. Yes, this, this comparison you can see, this comparison, uh, particularly second comparison, str double equals str2. So if I say uh, the double equals comparison actually looks into the remote controls. Are those two remote controls mapping to the same object? Yes, right? So these two, str and str2 remote controls are mapping to the same object. So in that case, my str comparison with str2 will results to true. Got it? Are you able to follow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now let me write the same example program. I create a class. No. Last. String demo. 
नहीं बैठा तो फिर तो आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर एस टी आर आई स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर इक्वल्स टू इट्स वैल्यू इज इंडिया देन नाउ आई से स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर इज इट एस टी आर वन आर एस टी आर टू इट इज एस टी आर एंड एस टी आर टू एस टी आर एंड एस टी आर टू सो लेट मी गो एस टी आर टू इक्वल्स टू इंडिया this is what i declared right now i am comparing now i am comparing so compare using double equals sir double equals i if so i am comparing here str double equals str2 If both are equal, then I am just displaying equals. System dot out dot print ln. Equals. Equals. So I write equals using double equals comparison. else not equals not equals using double equals comparison so what should be the result when i execute this both remote controls are they mapping to the same object yes or no look yes. at my image yes right so let me execute this Yes, you can see equals equals using double equals comparison. Okay. Yeah. Now let us get into second comparison. Yes. So the second way of comparison. The thing is, a string str three equals to new string. So the traditional way of creating the object. we have been using the new operator to create the object right rectangle rect object equals to new rectangle so here that is, this is the similar way string str3 equals to new string so here string has a constructor and i am passing a string as the argument so world world is the object so what happens here string str3 look here let me take the highlighter yes this thing can you see here a world object is created and str3 remote control is being mapped to that world object right yes yes now, now uh, look here my next message i mean next uh, instruction string str4 equals to new string hello so in that case hello object is created hello object is created and str4 remote control is being mapped to that hello object right got it Mm-hmm. Now, observe. My next instruction is string str5 equals to new string world. I just told you that when a uh, JVM is going to create an object, it will check whether such object is existing or not in its in its constant pool, right? So world object we have already created, right? Here, str3 remote control is mapping to world object, right? str5 should map to the same world object right with my previous conversation isn't it mm-hmm. agree i told you here in the previous conversation i told you that when jvm is going to create a, a string object it will check whether such object is existing in the heap memory or not if it is existing it will map to the same object so str and str2 remote controls are mapping to same india object right as per that conversation yeah. str5 should map to world object right mm-hmm. 
but it will not happen the reason is i am using the second way of creating the string object using new operator over there so new operator always tell jvm please give me a new memory area irrespective of whether the object existing in the heap memory or not i want a new memory area i am demanding a new memory area for my object so the world object is created with a new remote control str5 being mapped to got it okay okay so with the new keyword it means you are telling jvm hey jvm please i want a new memory area whether the world object is existing or not so str5 new remote control is created and it will be mapping to world object got it okay yeah now observe here the string comparison using double equals method double equals method look there str4 and str3 remote controls i am comparing str4 and str3 str4 str4 and str3 observe are those two remote controls mapping to the same object yes or no str4 and str3 no no so if i print then it has to give false right yeah so what i'll do is str4 let me create str4 and str3 okay uh, my str4 this comparison the str3 okay i'll do this. string str3 equals to new string and here i give uh, i give str3 world and str4 for as hello okay str okay copy this and str4 as hello okay look there i i created these two then i'll copy this comparison and i'll modify accordingly i am comparing str3 and str4 now str3 and str4 str4 now this time when i save and execute the second line should be uh okay i i modified this controls right ah uh, here str3 and str4 yes second line should be not equals right got it fine then let me proceed uh double equals method so what is the double equals method comparison is so before getting into double equals method i have to introduce java dot lang dot object to you uh, so i'll write here java dot lang dot object i view i already have that let me Okay, that should be, but somewhere I missed. Let me write here. So Java dot lang dot object. So this is the supermost object present in the Java API. Supermost object. The thing is, whenever you are creating any class, rectangle class, triangle class, test drive class, whatever, all the classes which you are created by you. are 
by default descendants of this java dot lang dot object so every class in java is inherited from this object and let me show you that object in java api so i have java api here Java 7 API, I have a copy. Let me open this. So here, this is the API. This is the API. And of course, this is, uh, you can download this from Google. Yes, Java. Here, these are the packages available in Java. All packages. Java.lang package. Yes, Java.lang package. And this package has interfaces and classes. So let me take you to class object, java.lang.object. Look here, there is a class object. So class object is in package, java.lang package, and it has methods like equals method. So this equals method is used to compare two objects. If two objects are equal, then it returns true. If two objects are not equal, then it returns false. Similarly, there are other methods like a hash code method. Hash code method will return an unique uh, hash code uh, representing the object in the heap memory area. It is something like equals to our uh, uh, Aadhaar number in India. So every citizen has unique Aadhaar number, right? So similarly, social security number in US, every citizen has social security number. So IC number we call it as. Similarly, every object has <coughs> a unique hash code. <coughs> Sorry. That hash code is generated by this method. And there are other methods like two string method. Two string method is generally used to represent a textual meaning for an object. I will like execute a sample using this two string method soon. And there are methods like wait, then notify, notify all. These three methods belonging to uh, thread communication. So these methods are used over there in thread communication. So these are the methods that are present in java.lang.object. And we will be regularly using equals method, hash code, and two string method. So for now, this equals method, so is used to compare two objects and returns a Boolean value. If two objects are equal, then it returns true. If two objects are unequal, then it returns false. So when I am coming back to my program, my class, this, String demo is also extending java.lang object. The thing is, if you write here java.lang dot object, still it is meaningful. Whether you write or not, your classes are by default descendants of java.lang dot object class. Even our string class also. String class also is descendant of java.lang.object. Let me show you that. So java.lang.string class. Yes, this is my string class. My string class, you can see here, string, string. Just above it, there is java.lang.object. It means that java.lang.object is the parent of string class. Now, And comparing str5 and str4. So what is str5 world, w-o-r-l-d world, and str4, str4. So let me have these two things. Look here. Equals method is used to compare the contents present in the string. If the contents are equal, then it returns true. 
look here str4 and str5 the contents are for str4 the content is hello and str5 the contents are world are hello and world equal yes or no 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 so it returns false so let me create str5 str5 So str5 equals to uh, I think new string right? Uh, str5 new string world. Okay. So I am using equals method. So I'll just copy this, copy this, and make changes accordingly. So here I will label compare using equals method and str str five and str four. I am comparing. So str five. So how do we compare is by using str5 dot equals equal str and here I write using equals and here equals. So the third message also not equals. It should be not equals. Right? Clear? Yeah. Now, my next comparison is str5 and str3. So if you see, ah, str5 and str3, str5 world and str3 world. You can see world and world, of course, equal, right? Contents. Contents. Yeah, contents. So when I do this, I'll write the. I will copy the program. Paste here. Looking for contents. So str five and str three. Str five and str three. So the last message should be equals, right? Clear. Got it. So the same comparison, if you want, you can go with uh, str and str2 as well. str and str2. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. Over there also, I mean the first way of comparison, I mean uh, the first style of creating the object. STR and STR2. So the last message also, of course, STR and STR2. Look here, STR and STR2. The contents are equal, right? India, India. Yeah. So the last message also should be true, right? Yeah. Clear? Yeah. So that is two ways of comparing objects using double equals method and equals method present in java.lang.object. Our string class is inheriting equals method from java.lang.object and actually the equals method present in string class is overridden and it is giving a behavior where it is looking for contents present in the string object and comparing the contents. Clear? Yes. Fine. Uh, then I believe Mehboob has not joined, right? Uh, not yet. Uh, it's okay. Mm, the thing is, uh, I'm going to wind up the session because I'm late to my office. Uh, tomorrow we shall meet and we shall continue uh, writing some samples using the string class.
and uh, today morning was there any confusion in joining uh, uh, in joining the link or uh, i or from my side no you were late by 10 minutes <laughs> yeah uh, so i i use the, the new link yeah okay okay when did you use the old link no okay fine fine so because i have been waiting from an exact time i thought okay okay we are speaking a new link oh no no and uh, then it's okay. oh, no 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 uh, no problem no problem if you are late it's okay i thought if there is a confusion let's okay. clear the confusion of that link that's it oh sure 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 yeah and uh, fine then i'll share this uh, videos yes. with you uh, then we shall continue tomorrow okay. the same time okay 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 all right then. bye tomorrow okay bye bye